Hello students, welcome back. This is teacher Melvita and today's subject is Maths for class 1. Children, how many of you have participated in various competitions? Maybe in your school or maybe in your neighborhood? I'm sure all of you must have participated in the competitions. Participation is very important than winning a prize. Some of you must have won a prize. If anybody asks you which prize did you win, what will you say? Will you say I won number one prize? I won number two prize? No. Children, today's topic is about ordinal numbers. What do you mean by ordinal numbers? Ordinal numbers are numbers which tell you the position of an object or a thing. Let us learn about ordinal numbers. 10 animals living near this pond. They have organized a running race today. All of them are standing at the start position. The race begins. The horse and the reindeer are at the first and the second position respectively. The leopard and the dog run quite fast. They are at the third and fourth position respectively. The cow is at the fifth position. The bear and the elephant is at the 6th and 7th position respectively. The zebra and the duck is at the 8th and 9th position respectively. The tortoise runs very slowly. It is at the Position. Let us look at the winning position of these animals. The horse came first. F I R S T first. The reindeer came second. S E C O N D second. The leopard stood third. T H I R D third. The dog came fourth. F O U R T H fourth. The cow came fifth. F I F T H fifth. The bear stood sixth. S I X T H Sixth. The elephant came seventh. S E V E N T H seventh. The zebra came eighth. E I G H T H eighth. The duck stood ninth. N I N T H ninth. And the tortoise stood 10th. T-E-N-T-H-10. Okay children, let us move on to the second example. Let us take the days of the week. We have 7 days of the week. That is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. If Monday is the first day of the week, which will be the second day of the week? Yes, Tuesday will be the second day of the week. Wednesday will be the third day of the week. Thursday will be the fourth day of the week. Friday will be the fifth day of the week. Saturday will be the sixth day of the week. And Sunday will be the seventh day of the week. 
we have another example we have five students that is rekha rajan seema mayur and pina they all are at the bus stand they are waiting for the bus now children who will get into the bus third if rekha is standing first yes after rekha is rajan so rajan stands second the third will be seema who will board the bus fifth who stands in the fifth position yes tina will get into the bus fifth rajan will get into the bus second and mayur will board the bus fourth so rekha will board the bus first after rekha second rajan will go that seema third position seema stands in the th third position and then we have mayur at the fourth position and tina at the fifth position children let us look at this table all these numbers from 1 to 10 are called cardinal numbers what are they called cardinal numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 every cardinal number we have the corresponding ordinal numbers so for number 1 we have or the ordinal number is first for cardinal number 1 we have the ordinal number first we write first like this f i r s t for cardinal number 2 we have the ordinal number second s e c o n d second for cardinal number 3 we have the ordinal number third t h i r d third for number 4 we have fourth we write it as fourth Fourth is the ordinal number for number four. Fifth is the ordinal number for number five. How do you spell fifth? F I F T H fifth. Sixth is the ordinal number for number six. S I X T H sixth. Seven is the ordinal number for number seven. S E V E N T H seventh. Eight is the ordinal number for number eight. E I G H T H eighth. Ninth is the ordinal number for number nine. N I N T H. Ten is the ordinal number for number ten. T e n t h ten. So children, all these are cardinal numbers, and these are ordinal numbers. Children, here is a coloring worksheet on ordinal numbers. So what have they said? Color the first, third, and fifth balloon. So let us see which is the third, first. Fifth balloon. So first, which is the first balloon here? So we will color the first balloon. So I color the first balloon, and we have to color the third balloon now. So first. second third so i will take another color and i will color the third balloon and now we have to color the fifth balloon so first second third fourth fifth 
So fifth is this balloon. So I have colored first, third and fifth balloon. Now let us go to the second example. So they have said we have got many fishes. So they have said color the second, fourth and seventh fish. So which is the second fish? First, second. So second will be this fish. So I will color this fish. Fourth. So if this is second, third will be this and fourth will be this fish. So I will color this fish. And seventh. So first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Sixth, seventh. So this will be the seventh fish. So I'll color this fish. Now let us go to the next example. Here there are cupcakes. So how many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So they have said color the 6th and ninth cupcake. So which will be the 6th cupcake? 1, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th. So you will color this cupcake. Sixth and ninth. So first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth. So ninth will be this cupcake. Now we have footballs. So color 8th and 10th football. So which will be 8th football? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So the 8th football will be this one. You can use colors of your choice. So 8th, 9th, 10th. So 8th and 10th football. So we'll color the 10th football.
so we are done with the worksheet children with this we end our lesson for today thank you have a nice day